Hello, I'm Fastlord, your Mazarkalus Rift Reviews, now with Windows Mixed Reality. Today we're going to do a Let's Play and Initial Impressions review for Gravenoid. Gravenoid is an early access. It released on the Steam Store back in February. It normally retails for $24.99. I got a free Steam key through the Steam Creator Connect program. It's available for all the major headsets. This game is in early access and it still needs a lot of polish. So to be honest with you, I'm not sure. In fact, it is not worth the $24.99. However, this game does have a lot of depth. It's described by the dev as being a fast paced game. It's a little bit like Arkanoid. However, I would say it has like puzzle elements that really make it a lot different than Arkanoid. Although you are, you know, essentially throwing a ball and, and breaking bricks essentially in this game in this case they're like cube boxes or whatever they are and you have a shield and you have a throwing mechanic let me go ahead and show you the gameplay it's probably easier to show you than to try to explain it now i'm on level 10 uh the levels are different they have different dangers different strategies they started off pretty simple now i'm stuck on level 10. Uh, this is my third attempt i haven't been able to get the level yet and as you can see you charge up a ball and then you throw it I will say that the throwing mechanic does feel a little bit like a wiffle ball and there are upgrades and perks you can select I don't know if you noticed oh man I don't know if you noticed but there I did have a skill point I could use uh, so I could use a skill point to try to change up the gameplay the perks include stuff like being able to throw the, the ball harder or having a faster recharge rate and there's upgrades you can do the, to the tool itself, like increase the range of this tractor beam, uh, in, increase the shield size. So you have a shield here, you can increase the shield size, stuff like that. And you do have to stop the cloud from getting to the to the, to the back shield here. One of my main problems with the game is the frame rate. So for the most part, the game plays fine. It does run smoothly for the most part. However, I do have sudden frame rate drops. And you definitely don't want that in a game like this. Hold on, want to try to... Well, where did the ball go? In a game like this where throwing the balls is critical, you definitely don't want a sudden frame rate drop that'll throw off your timing. So you do have a limited amount of time to get all the blocks, however you can't just throw wildly because you have limited energy. Now I have my energy pretty high, but that'll be an issue uh, the further I get into this game. That's been my issue, I just don't have enough energy to do enough throws. Oh no, if that's the last thing that you want is a throw like that. Oh no. And by the way, there is a chance of failure. So every now and then, and you never know if it's a bad throw on your part or if there's just this mechanic where your throw fails. So there is a small chance that your throw will just totally fail, not because of your fault. That's something that you can try to fix with the perks that you have. So throwing the ball does feel like a wiffle ball at times. But like I said, there, there is a lot of depth to here. Uh, to this game and it does kind of feel like a puzzle game because you're trying to figure out how to conserve your energy uh, not so much in this level because I don't have missiles coming at you but usually you have to use your shield as well and you almost have to memorize the uh, the layout because it does you can figure out where the energy clouds are you definitely need those so there are, as you saw that, there I had a power up that I used to explode the blocks. And I'm at 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Uh... Oh. 
I had a failure there as you saw. I just went straight down. Great. That's what I wanted. I wanted that. Okay. So I did have like a frame rate drop, drop there with the explosion. And in case you're wondering, yes, it is possible to affect the throw after you throw it if you move your hand right or left. I try not to do that because I, I just find currently with my uh, amount. And as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but there is a failure rate here where the it just goes straight down even though I'm not releasing I swear to you, I'm not. It, it may look like it, but it's like it almost does it by itself. I don't think I'm going to be beat this. I only have 30 seconds left and I just don't have enough energy to th do enough throws. Part of the problem is, it, like I said, it does feel like a wiffle ball at times. It just doesn't go where you want it to kind of hard to explain unless you're playing the game yourself and then once you play it you'll see the okay so I failed again this is my third attempt I failed the third time uh, as you can see the gameplay is a little slow and I think it does need to be rebalanced to be a little quicker. I think the energy recharges at a slow rate. Um, let me show you the perks I have to let you know that, uh, in fact, I do. I am trying to increase my recharge rate. Myself, so let's go to workshop. But, by the way, that little drone robot is, is very annoying. Uh, so there are things you can do to improve your gameplay. So even when you lose, you do get uh, skill points. I believe you also get the money. I believe that was at 67,000 last time I checked. So hopefully I'm higher than that now. That's still not close enough to do any kind of upgrade. So as you can see here, the upgrade cost is 12,475. And I'm at 11,596. So I'm getting close. <laughs> uh, in about two hours and a half of gameplay. I'm barely going to have enough for my first upgrade. I wish there was an explanation of what the Mankfield tractor does. But uh, we don't. Anyways, let's go to the biopod to show the perks. So there's the upgrades to your, to your throwing tool or through your shield. And these are the perks. And as you can see, I have speedy charger all the way up. I used all my skill points on this. Reduces projectile charging time with minus 75%. So, yeah, I still need more help. <laughs> Anyways, this is Gravenoid. I do think it's overpriced for what's available here. Right now, it's just not polished. And to be able to charge 25 bucks for this type of game, I, I just think the gameplay needs to be better balanced. Uh, right now, it's just too slow. And just everything from the UI to the gameplay to the frame rates issues needs to be fixed. The graphics would probably lead to, need to be sharper. Um, there's just too many mechanics that to me are, are substandard to what you would expect you know, at a $25 price game. On the other hand, like I said, there is a lot of depth here. There's a lot of upgrades. So there there is actually a, a good game here, but it still needs a lot of work. It is an early access, so keep that in mind. You might want to buy this game just to support dev. 
I'm going to rate this game a 5 out of 10, and I think I'm being generous with that score. Uh, but again, I do see depth here. This is a unique game. Um, you might be better at this game than me, so you might have better luck than I do. But uh, currently, I'm stuck on level 10. This That was my third attempt, and I failed. Uh, so there, there is a cerebral aspect to this game. It's not just a sports game. It's just not your another Arkanoid type game. Uh, there is a change up here that, that really makes it interesting. You didn't get to see all the gameplay elements. Like I said, you, there's other levels where you use your shield more. Uh, there's other shield, other levels where you have to, you know, use your tractor beams more. And with different uh, power ups, you didn't see the slow time or the shield power ups that that help you out. So there is a lot more to this gameplay, and th there is depth here, but it just needs a lot more polish, and that's my main problem with the game. It's just a lack of polish. It is an early access. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.